I had fibroids, the ones I had three, and two of them were particularly large. And so there was, and the way they were situated was causing a couple of the doctors I had consulted with concerns. And uh, it wasn't even sure that I'd be able to do the Da Vinci because of the size of them. But after talking to Dr. Lim and, and, and going through some of the options, knowing that I might still wake up with a, a cut of some sort, he was able to do it with the Da Vinci. It was great for me. One, because I wasn't looking forward to having you know my, my whole stomach area cut open and it would have been a lot more pain, a lot more recovery. So with just the four small incisions, it was able to heal up quick and the scarring's really minimal. This basically is, these are my working arms, the surgeon's working arms. So this is the instrument that we insert into the patient's cavity. And the beauty of this is what I want to demonstrate is you can see how small this, these instruments are. And it can rotate 360 degrees and act just like my hands and my fingers. I was fortunate enough to be asked to be the principal investigator for this research. This was a, a big study uh, that consisted of evaluating 2,500 patients and what this research was about to really evaluate whether there is a true benefit of robotic surgery when we perform benign hysterectomy, if you will. What the study basically showed was that robotic surgery showed that there was shorter hospitalization, less complications, both intraoperatively and after surgery, and it also showed that we were able to do more complex surgery uh, with less complications and better outcomes. Renown has always been innovative. In other words, we were the first one to obtained a certain robotic system back in 2008. We were the first one, uh, one the first one to have the epicenter, where uh, what it says is that Renown is really committed to the uh, community, to serve the community, to bring the best innovative technology so that the uh, patients can have better outcomes uh, through difficult times when they have uh, difficult problems.